Bangkok is fast becoming world headquarters for cosmetic surgery, with 800 clinics offering cut price makeovers and manufactured smiles. But having an operation here could be the costliest decision you could make. Last October, a British woman died in this well-known clinic, and the surgeon, Dr. Sompop Sansiri, is on bail, awaiting prosecution. But Channel 4 News has discovered he's still working, still treating patients, and he's doing it under a different name, Dr. Weragorn. And no one in Thailand seems prepared to stop him. Joy Williams was a 24-year-old from Thamesmead in London. Her friends said she was bright and caring, but she didn't like the way she looked. She came here to the SP clinic for buttock implants, but the wounds became infected and she returned a week later to have the implants removed. She died shortly after the procedure. Dr. Sansiri was charged with recklessness, causing Ms. Williams' death. A police source told us he was trying to operate and administer the general anaesthetic at the same time. Still, there's nothing to stop him from working under Thai law, as Channel 4 News found out. Dr. Sansiri here suggesting facial liposuction for just 600 pounds. And liposuction on her legs? Our reporter told him she'd think about it, and as she left, she looked at his medical certificates. But Dr. Sansiri isn't a qualified cosmetic surgeon. He's a GP who's learnt on the job. Channel 4 News. Sir, can you tell me why you've reopened your clinic? We want to know why you've reopened your clinic. Dr. Sansiri didn't want to talk to us, and nor did his staff. They decided to close the clinic. Well, we've only been here a few minutes, but the doctor has scarpered and they've shut all these metal blinds at the clinic. But the staff are still in there, presumably locked inside. Yan He Hospital was more welcoming. It's one of a small number of internationally accredited facilities in the city. And it's busy. Patient files are moved about on roller skates. But the chief surgeon told us that 50% of his patients come here to fix mistakes made by other doctors. And he has some advice. Be careful. You can't just read their patient reviews on the internet. They could be fake. Unskilled surgeons only show the good pictures, not the ugly results. You actually have to go into the premises to see if they're safe. Dr. Grichat says safety standards in 90% of clinics aren't good enough and they're run by physicians who lack specialist training. However, the head of the doctor's governing body dismisses such criticism. It's just one group of doctors talking to the media, trying to make another group of doctors look bad. He did concede that GPs doing cosmetic surgery could use additional training. We will try to encourage doctors to do specialist training, and after five or ten years, we might make it compulsory. Five years, five years is a long time to wait. Some people might like to make it sooner, but a sudden change would cause chaos and misunderstandings. Clearly, it's not easy to change an industry that generates three billion pounds a year. 
So the onus is on the customer to protect themselves. That's certainly the view of Philippa Boyd from Rutland. She lost 80 kilograms after having a gastric band fitted. And she's come back to have her arms resized. Okay, thank you. This is called an arm uplift. They'll cut from here and they'll cut all the way down here and they will remove the skin and then they'll, re they'll sew it all here. I could have had the work that I've had done at a clinic for a fraction of the price of what I've had done at the hospital. But to me, my safety and my life is, is more important than, than cost. And so I took a little bit of extra time to save up for, for my surgery and I chose the hospital where I was going to be taken care of the best. The people who work in this industry know exactly what the risks are. But Joy Williams didn't and many new customers remain in the dark. What's absolutely clear is that people coming to this city for treatment must exercise extreme care because their lives may depend on it. John Sparks, Channel 4 News, Bangkok.